and welcome to another video where today we are going to be getting cute, cuddly, snuggly, creepy, I don't know, all the things magical creatures um, for the most part, but also just fantastic beasts because this is going to be a fantastic beasts haul, um, which I don't really have a lot of fantastic beast stuff. We will get into that, but we are hauling books, not books usables, wearables, all the abuls. We love the abuls on this channel, okay? And we love magical creatures. Um, and we have a bit of that for sure. I'm so excited. Um, but before we dive into it, if you're new here and you want to be a part of the community, what are we doing here? Um, <laughs> I have to put my hand somewhere. If you want to be a part of a community that believes weird is wonderful and magic is real, hit that subscribe button in the belows uh, and be notified every time there is a new magical Harry Potter video. So yeah, I don't have a lot of Fantastic Beasts stuff in part because I'm not a huge fan of the films. Like, like so many people, I think most of us wanted them to be about the creatures and they just were not. It became more and more political. Uh, it's why I pushed off watching the final film. I did do a brief review of it when I finally watched it. So check that out if you so <laughs> wish to. Um, but for me, what I do love about them are the magical creatures, the things that I wanted to see more of. Um, I also love Newt. I love people who love animals and there were a number of them in there, especially Newt. And so we have some things kind of highlighting all of that. For starters, I'm gonna go with books. Um, I actually picked up three books, Fantastic Beasts wise, and yeah, I'm going to do kind of the basic stuff first and then get more and more interesting, but this is a Harry Potter channel, which is originally based on the books, um, so books are prevalent in this world, uh, and I thought first and foremost, if we're gonna be doing Fantastic Beasts stuff um, and a book, I might as well get the book. So I picked these up and the next two ones at my local bookstore, Powell's. Um, and I really like the cover of this one. I think there are variations, correct me if I'm wrong, of the Fantastic Beasts um, original screenplay, which is what this is. I really like this. I don't normally do like, you know. Look, you're probably gonna go, Aubrey, you pick on things that have gold foiling on everything. That is because those things are intended to be replicas. This is not, this is a book. So I'm pretty well fine with this and I think it's pretty. Um, and it is still readable, which is important. But anyway, I have this. I gotta now read it and see what she's all about. So that's book one. Book two, so I don't normally do a lot of things, that's not true. I was gonna say that have the actual actors on them, um, but that's not true. I have a lot of behind the scenes stuff and this one kind of is. It is called Inside the Magic, The Making of Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them. What struck me was the cover and because I'm a Newt Scamander fan. And we have got Newt front and center on this book. Um, and apparently I paid $9.95 for it, like, what <laughs> right now it was hard to pass up i think when i was at the store i will say i picked these items up quite some time ago i have a um whole closet with a like shelving unit that has all of the staging for future videos and we have blazed through it for this um like november december video hauling uh and it's weird for it to see, em see it empty but these were on that shelf and i'm excited to finally be showing you them but yeah i don't normally do the actual actors on things uh, because this is a behind the scenes, it seems to fit it perfectly. So here is a little gander on the inside of the behind the scenes, to which I actually have not looked at yet. <laughs> I would like to sit down with a handful of my behind the scenes um, books and read them and get all the dates that I'm missing, you know what I'm saying? Um, so yeah, so we picked up that one. It's kind of a nice variety. We have the actual screenplay. We have a little bit behind the scenes of the film. And then, well, this is kind of that as well, but I loved the cover of this so much more because it feels more in world. And if you don't know, when it comes to uh, my collection, which I don't really reference as a collection, um, my world building of my house. I prefer as much as possible to feel more in world um, than it actually being like a, a movie or a book, but an actual story I am living in. And this is a variation of a book co cover that I feel feels more in world. And that is because 
it kind of has Newt's suitcase look to it. I mean, not kind of, it does. So this is the front of the book, and it is The Case of Beasts, Explore the Film Wizardry of Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them. Now, what the actual difference is between this one and the other one, I can't tell you, I don't know. <laughs> I was just enamored with the book. Like, look, it's got like a suitcase um, flappy situation. So here's the front, like it actually is a suitcase. Here's the back, it's got the Makusa imagery um, pressed in there. And then it opens like a suitcase and it even has the interior of Newt's suitcase printed on the inside. We open it up and we have the same thing. I think, how much was this, 1995? Like, why not? Um, so yeah, you could put your name there and this, oh yes. What is different about this is we get these pop-ups or more like pull-outs. So here is, there, all of the books out there have so many different approaches when it comes to behind the scenes. And this is one that has those like pop outs, like right here. I don't know, or actually let's go back to the other one and see what is in the pop out. So I'm gonna pull this one out. Holy smokes. Uh, okay, it is a full size Newt poster. I guess we didn't need to get the one for me and Lima. Just kidding. I mean, it's folded up, so. Look at this. Actually, I might take this to my muggle job and have this up like Halloween time or something, and that's not it. There's this one as well, which I do not have this one. So that's just like one page, um, very nicely made. I think, did I buy this new or used? I bought this used, and I am very careful when I buy things used, especially when they have like pop-outs like this. So I wanna make sure all the inserts are there. Um, and are in good good standing, you know what I'm saying? Okay, we're gonna check out one more and see what else is in here. Oh my gosh, is that the Mappa Mundi? It is Mappa Mundi. Um, fold it out. We do have a Mappa Mundi. I will, I'll, I'll get to that in a hot second, but here it is. This one's a little bit like shinier than I think the one that we have, but it is the actual thing. Okay, maybe we look at one more, because now I'm curious. This is cool. Oh, and there are pop-outs like this. So this is on a page where we pull it out. It's giving me the Mina Lima vibes, which, you know, it should, because Mina Lima is such a huge part of both movies, both movies, <laughs> both series. Um, so I'm excited to read through all of these books, really. I'll be honest, I'll probably start with the behind the scenes ones before I start with the actual screenplay, but that is the book section of our Fantastic Beasts haul. So the next few items, actually the next two items, I got off of Amazon, and then after that, we're gonna be getting into some small businesses. Um, and the first one I got is Newt Scamander's scarf right here. Now, you might recall from my birthday video where I got a very special Newt related item. I will link that one above. Um, and inside that item, it came with Newt's scarf, which I have right here. Um, and, but I actually purchased this before my birthday, so I've had this for a hot minute, but they are different. So let me unpack this one, show it to you, and I will show you the differences. Here is the scarf. We got the tasseling business. We have um, Skim Newt Scamander's emblem, if you will. Um, so I was curious in pulling this out, you'll notice this scarf is quite thin compared, like width-wise, compared to some other scarves out there, some of the other Harry Potter scarves out there. It was $19.99 for this scarf. It feels really nice. It is polyester and acrylic. Um, but yeah, I was looking it up just right now, and let me show you a photo. Looking at Newt right there, it does seem to be more accurate to, um, to screen, <laughs> accurate to Newt both in color. So this one has like, it's got a mix of colors uh, of yellows. Both the thinness and the color really seem to um, match with Newt more than the other one. So let me show you the other one and I'm happy to have both. This is the one that came in um, that, very, that item <laughs> that I'm keeping. <laughs> Anonymous just to make you watch another video. I can't make you do anything, but this one is wider and brighter So let me hold them up so you can see Here's the color difference. You can see this is the one from 
it's from the suitcase, okay? This is the one from the suitcase. It's much brighter. The grays are a lot lighter. It's just lighter in general. And here is the width difference, edge to edge. So it's pretty much double the size. So I feel like, you know, if you don't, if you're not aiming, this just works as a Hufflepuff, although I feel like these colors still match Hufflepuff a bit more, um, which is interesting because this came from Cine Replicas, which does replicas. Um, but it still works and it's going to keep you warmer. This is going to be more for decorative purposes. And as you saw, as you saw, um, Newt normally wears it sh kind of straight down. It's not tied or anything. Um, so I feel like you'll still get a good view of it. Um, but yeah, that's the comparison of the two. So I am glad that I got that one off of Amazon. Now let's get into probably some of my I was gonna say the more interesting items. They're all interesting to me, that's why I got them. Um, but, and I really like the scarf and I do find that, you know, cool. Which by the way, I don't even have my own house scarf. That is correct, you heard me correctly. Maybe I will do a video on things I don't have that will, you know, boggle your mind. I don't know, or you'll come at me for not being a true fan, whatever. Anyway, the next one that I got, I got off of Amazon. So far it's the only place I've seen it like sold new versus having to go to eBay or Mercari or something like that. Um, even from the site directly, which is BioWorld. It is by BioWorld and it is a like, I guess you can call it a purse. It's a bag, um, but not really. It's a suitcase. Look at this suitcase. It's like a little mini suitcase. Um, obviously the big difference between this one and Newt's suitcase is that one looks like a replica. It's an actual suitcase. It doesn't have this giant emblem on the front, but this one being smaller, I'll be honest, I mean, I probably will use it if ever I dress up as Newt, which I would like to, um, because those would be easier to carry around. I could just hook it around my body, you know what I'm saying? But it will also be nice, like, just decorative purposes, like putting on a shelf, either like this or open. So let me give you the full scope. Um, I don't know if I paid this, but it is currently a 53.78. So it's not like super cheap, but it feels really good quality. This is a faux leather um, look to it, which I appreciate. And here is the front. It has these rivets in the corner. Um, then we have the hook, this is where the um, chain or whatever that I'm assuming is inside. I haven't double checked, it's been a little while. Um, here's the back. We have the tag that says Newt Scamander. And then there's the side, let's open it up. So you press both of these and then lift it up. So now let me give you the look. Here she be, and it does feel very much like a replica. The inside, other, like I said, other than that, the inside looks like, looks like Newt's suitcase. It doesn't have that extra compartment on the top, but it is a small thing. And they did add, is there anything in here? No, they did add this little pocket, which almost feels like an extra compartment. I mean, it is an extra compartment. And then here's the strap. Alrighty, here is the strap on it. You know what, let's see where it hits because that's kind of important to me. It is adjustable, so I could always change it, but I feel like actually, I had a feeling this is gonna be pretty well the right length. We'll need to sort this out so it's not like sticking out. Um, I'd probably drop it a little bit lower, um, but yeah, there is our Newt's suitcase slash purse, okay? And I totally forgot, I just stood up and I showed you I showed you another item, um, but not really, it's a shirt. If you can't tell, I, I get a lot of Harry Potter t-shirts. At some point, I would like to have 365 days worth, okay? One for every day. And I picked up, I also did like two in the Amazon gift guide. It's a, it's a thing, it's a habit, um, an addiction, I think is what it's actually called. And I have this Magizoologist, yes, this is my second Magizoologist shirt, but this one's all black, the other one's gray, and we have magical creatures. I can't tell, is that a flooper down there? No, that's an augury. And a niffler and a bow treckle. And well, another niffler. Sorry, I'm just like touching myself. And another niffler. And I got this one on Amazon for $22.99. All right, we're now moving into small shop territory. And the next thing, we have two things. This one's kind of a set that I got from Muggle Born Sisters. If you know Muggle Born Sisters, you know there's a really good chance these are pins. And you're right. So I don't know if these are still available. Um, she is available. And 
She is. Now, I paid for the entire set, um, which is $55. Uh, so it is a pretty penny, but these are made by small shops and there's a lot of detail to them. Okay, so Muggleborn Sisters does a series or a um, like a set or something. They have other things too, but it's, they're called Window Shop Pins. And I sort of have this goal. I have been acquiring pins, but I'm trying to be more mindful and maybe do like themed boards. So I only focus on that. It's hard, it's hard. Um, and I might like swap them out for other themes. But as you know, I love magical creatures, fantastic beasts, whatever you wanna say. And I thought about doing a pin board for just that. And I felt like I couldn't resist this because I also love food. It is Kowalski's Bakery as a window shop pin. Here it is. I'm trying to hold it as still as I can. So it does have that nice clear filler to make it look like a window. It says Kowalski at the top um, and in the windows at the top. And then look, you're getting all the Fantastic Beasts baked goods that Kowalski makes. It's one of the other things I love in Fantastic Beasts is I, I quite like Kowalski and I love baked goods. Um, maybe one day we can attempt to make some of these in the Kitchen Witch series, that would be cool. Um, so yeah, and even like the detail, we have a little niffler in the corner. I don't know if you can see the bow truckle just peeking out of the bread over there, getting into some mischief. And what I also picked up, because I got the whole set, is there are these little additions of actual baked goods. First one being right here, we have the bow truckle. Look at that pretzel. Um, I do know an artist that makes these. Uh, make some of them that I'd like to get my hands on at some point um, as kind of like a prop replica. Um, but there's that set. And then look at that iced demi guys right there. How freaking cute. We've got the Niffler and the pretzel alchemy. I would love to make a pretzel alchemy or an iced baked demi guys. I'd feel awful eating it, but also really good. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Tasty treats, so I couldn't resist that um, because it's two things I love. It's magical creatures and food, okay? Done, zo, worth the penny. Now, the last item is one I have wanted to show you for some time. I've not seen, I've not seen anybody else get it, and I think because this website isn't really highlighted that much for a variety of reasons, and that's Society6. If you aren't familiar, Society6 is a place that sort of, they do their own manufacturing, but artists will create um, their own illustrations and select what kind of products they want them on, um, and then they get printed and sent off to whoever buys them, obviously. And I was looking for something a little more magical for my phone here. Um, that is Harry Potter-esque, and I found one. I will say on Society6, the search aspect is not so great. So it takes a lot of digging around to find things, and especially because in the Harry Potter world, um, creators are not allowed or able, eas as easily able to utilize some of the terminology. Um, but I did find one, and I'm so excited to put it on. I haven't looked at it in a little bit. And it's tapping into my love for magical creatures and Newt Scamander himself. Here it is. Look at this suitcase. It's like everything about Newt. I mean, a suitcase, did I say suitcase? Look at this phone case. <laughs> well, I'm on the suitcase still. It's everything about Newt, minus the suitcase. It's got the whole front. Um, I do wish the scarf were on there, but I think it might be like, it, you, you might not pick up all the details because it would take up so much space. This is such a small space to work with. And look at that Niffler. I mean, okay, okay, honestly, I do feel like I, I wish there was a bow truckle on here too, but I love me a niff. Um, so it is kind of like printed on. It has still got a little bit of a bend to it. So let's put it on and see what it looks like. We got Haggard there on the front, but look at this Action Jackson on the back. How freaking cute. Like I do occasionally forget my phone like in the restroom at my muggle job. So I think it will be very obvious that this one is mine. Um, and you don't need to like, yeah, sort anything else out. It's also very smooth. Um, so it might get damaged. I do drop it often, but I still really like it. And I might get more options in the future just to rotate out whatever I'm feeling at that time. That 
is a wrap <laughs> on the Fantastic Beasts haul um, of books and suitcases and um, Newt Scamandery things and adorable pins um, and all the things that I do love about Fantastic Beasts. Do let me know in the comments down below what were your favorite things in this haul and what are your favorite things about the Fantastic Beasts series? Do you feel the same as me and just like feel more of a connection with the creatures and a handful of characters. I don't know. I'd love to chat with you. But until next time, my magical friends, remember to love what you love um, with everything you have and keep making magic. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.